of how Malaysia was formed. Mm -hmm. So as you all are aware, Malaysia was formed back in 1963 together with uh, four entities. The first one is the state of Malaya, namely Johor, Kedah, Kelantan, Melaka, Negeri Sembilan, Pahang, Penang, Perak, Paris, Selangor, and Tergani. And the Borneo states, namely Sabah and Sarawak. So in fact, you, I have made it very simple. I have the break it down to 1963, uh, 1976, and 2019 now. So you can see that uh, when Malaysia was formed at that time, there were three entities, also including uh, the last one, sorry, four, uh, Singapore. Uh, Singapore left us in 1965, and then the amendment was made in 1966 uh, on Article 1-2. So that was the first amendment to our constitution on Article 1-2. So that that uh, stay in 1966 until 1976. 1976. Okay. Right? Okay. 1976. So in 1976, you can see that uh, the amendment was made to make Sabah and Sarawak uh, the same as the rest of uh, the Negri Negri uh, Malaya. So that has stayed there. So why was there no objection to it? And that sort of thing, you all can look at the Hansard. The Hansard will be the records of what all the MP had said. Uh, since uh, the day we had parliament, day one, since 1963 when Malaysia was some other, it's all there. Uh, so it will record everything. So why they did not uh, uh, oppose it, I think uh, is anyone guess. Lah. Of course we have seen uh, in the last uh, few years, uh, some MPs and also some political parties uh, from Sabah and Sarawak have uh, stated uh, why they did not object and they felt sorry about it. So some of them even apologized uh, to the people in Sabah and Sarawak. But regardless of all that, apologize or not apologize, uh, uh, the amendment in 1976 stays for almost 43 years. Right? The previous government under uh, Barisan National and also the previous uh, state government of uh, Sabah and Sarawak uh, under the previous administration, they did not take any giant steps uh, to amend it for 46 years. So this year, uh, the Pakatan Harapan government, uh, less than one year, had taken this giant step. And also I must emphasize here that this is also part of the Janji uh, Manifesto in the Pakatan Harapan Manifesto uh, to bring back uh, Sabah and Sarawak to its original position back in 1970, 1963. This is just to, to go back to the spirits and intentions of the Malaysian agreement. So uh, now we are being, re we, I have listened to a lot of views uh, from the ground since I introduced the first reading on Thursday. I must uh, explain also why this bill was uh, was in its present form, right? Right? It is, as it is as it now, this is 2019, you can see that 2019. Uh, you see, as you all understand, uh, or if you don't understand, when a bill is being proposed, I will need to have a cabinet approval. So before cabinet approve, uh, the paper we call the memorandum will have to be submitted to all the stakeholders, including Sabah and Sarawak state government. So the end to, to come back with the ulasan. So during the cabinet meeting, I will have to table the bill and I have to read out all the ulasan from all the stakeholders. So normally, uh, Prime Minister and some of the cabinet colleagues will ask, oh, what is the view of this uh, commentarian? Uh, what is the view of uh, Sabah State Government? What is the view of the stakeholders yang relevant to that field? So I read out the views. So I just can say that uh, none of the view on this present form was not touched. To me, they agreed to it because they did it, they did not uh, said they comment they comment on other uh, issues but I cannot reveal because it's a cabinet papers it's under the official secret acts right? but then uh, basically they just uh, they, they, there was no touch on this uh, uh, on this proposed amendment as I as I put it right there's no no touching but anyway regardless of all that 
uh, there has been a several requests in over the last few days when I met up with uh, all these uh, st uh, NPs and things like that uh, to input the words uh, uh, the state of Malaya and the Bono State back to the 1963 position. So this time I had already met up with uh, the Prime Minister and also the Federal AG this morning. So we basically had no issue on that, right? And of course, uh, you don't forget that uh, you know, there is an explanatory statement. The explanatory statement is part of the constitution, right? Because uh, the, the article 1 will just simply lay down the, the gist of it, right? But then you have to look at the, the uh, explanatory statement. I mean, in English, you will say here that, uh, you know, uh, clause 2 of this bill seeks to substitute clause 2 of the article one of the federal constitution, the position of clause two uh, during the formation of Malaysian Agreement 1963. This amendment is made in line with the spirit of the Malaysian Agreement concluded in 1963. It satisfied the aspiration and hope of the state government of Sabah and Sarawak and all people of Sabah and Sarawak. Full stop. So this one explained very clearly that uh, this is in line with the Malaysian Agreement 1963 and also in line with the aspiration uh, Expressly Rakyat Sabah and Sarawak. So this is very clear. It will be, uh, it will be recorded in the constitution here. You see, nobody can say that it's not in. Later on, when it is amended, right, then the explanatory note will, will be found here because uh, you will see here uh, the explanatory notes everything, right? Uh, notes everything. You see, it will say here why 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 is it that uh, this particular clause is amended in this way. Okay. Uh, can you please check if uh, GPS 20 is set? Because I need to see yes. them quite urgently. So, all the explanatory notes are all here. Okay. So, here, yeah, the explanatory notes is very important to look at. Uh, so, uh, it was a general. Okay. Uh, Dato, just now you mentioned about a meeting with the stakeholders. Were CM of Sabah and Sarawak at the meeting? when you explain the bill to seek consensus? Oh, they were not there, but I had communicated with them through the phone. I don't really need to meet them at this day. Oh. Uh, they send phone now. So you phone. had consent I had, I, had, I had contacted them mm -hmm. for for CM of uh, Sabah. There's no issues. As long as we bring it back to the 1963 position, right? He has no issues. Uh, for Sarawak, CM, he has some reservation, but he wants me to meet up with uh, the uh, chairman of GPS because uh, we have to understand that the CM of Sabah is also the MP of Sampurna, whereas the CM of uh, Sarawak he is not the MP. So CM of Sabah will be here uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow uh, to take part in the debates. I hope uh, he will because this is such an important bill concerning uh, Sabah and Sarawak. They, I think they have the duty for all the MP to have the duties uh, to speak up. So tomorrow is the day. Uh, come and speak up and then raise the voices of your constituents, of your people. They, I also urge the constituents, uh, the people in, in Sabah and Sarawak, in fact, the whole of Malaysia, right, to give your view to your MPs so that they will debate and discuss. Uh. So I will want to thank you once again. And